This is part 9 of WCF video series. In this video, we'll discuss how to enable tracing and message logging in WCF. This is continuation to part 8, so please watch part 8 before proceeding. Use the Microsoft Service Configuration Editor tool to enable tracing and message logging in WCF. We can enable tracing and message logging either on the client or on the WCF service itself. First, let's look at enabling it on the client. Let's flip to Visual Studio. We'll be using the same application that we used in the previous session. If you recollect, we have used ASP.NET Web Application as the client for the WCF service. Since this is an ASP.NET Web Application, we have web.config file. And when I right click on this, notice that I have this option, Edit WCF Configuration. When we select that, it opens up the Microsoft Service Configuration Editor tool. Now, in your case, when you right click, if you don't find that option, then click on Tools and then select this option, WCF Service Configuration Editor. So this should bring up the same tool. But then it doesn't open the config file of your application. So we need to point it to the config file. And in order to do that, click on File, Open, and we want to open the config file. And where is the config file present within this web application? So the name of the web application is client. And we have created the solution within C drive. So the complete path is C colon backslash client backslash client. The first folder is the solution folder. And the second folder is the actual web application folder. Within that, we have web.config file. And it should open up in the tool. Now, once you have opened the configuration editor through tools option, from that point, you should have this option, Edit WCF Configuration, when you right click on the config file. I think that's a bug in Visual Studio. Basically, the first time when you try to use it, you know, it doesn't show up that option. But once you have opened it up using Tools menu, from that point, it should be available when you right click. Okay, so let's select this option, Edit WCF Configuration. And to enable tracing and message logging, click on the Diagnostics folder under Configuration and then enable log auto flush option and then we want to enable message logging so to do that click on the link on the right hand side enable message logging and look at what it has done it has added a file with an extension dot svc log with in the same directory as that of our config file look at the path here c colon backslash client backslash client so at that path, we have this web underscore messages dot svc file. So this is the log file for logging the messages. Okay. In a similar fashion, to enable tracing, click Enable Tracing. And the moment we do that, there is another log file with the same extension, um, basically, to log the trace messages. All right. We need to do one more little thing. Expand this Diagnostics folder. Under that, you should see Message Logging option. When you select that on the right-hand side, Log Entire Message. By default, this option is False. Turn that to True. And then close the tool itself. It will prompt you whether if you want to save the changes. Click Yes. So what this has done is added the configuration uh, to the web.config file that's required to enable tracing and message logging. Look at this. Under Configuration, we have System.Diagnostics element and underneath that we have a lot of configuration which basically enables tracing and message logging. All right, with this, let's go ahead and run our WCF service. And then let's run the client. So let's enter an employee ID of one and then click this button, Get Employee. Now, if you recollect, the message log and trace log files are present in C colon backslash client folder, backslash client. So here, notice that we have two files with dot svc log extension. And if you look at the size, you know, it says zero kilobytes. So does that mean it didn't write anything to these log files? I think we need to refresh this folder. So let's go ahead and refresh that and look at that. We have some messages there. So let's open up the message log. And to open the message log, you can simply double click that. And then it's going to open that using a tool called Microsoft Service Trace Viewer. Now, if you want to open this tool, there are other ways as well. You can click on Start, Get to All Programs, 
go to Microsoft Visual Studio 2010 and under Microsoft Windows SDK tools you should see um, service trace viewer there and if you're looking for you know something to open it from the command prompt then get to Visual Studio command prompt so under Visual Studio tools you should see Visual Studio command prompt there type SVC trace viewer and then hit enter so that should bring again uh, the same tool okay or you can simply double click on the log file that has got that extension .svc log it should automatically open with the tool all right so we have the tool there and then uh, look at this that's one of the traces and this is the message log trace okay now let's look at this tab message tab okay so both the request as well as the response are logged okay so this is the request message and look at what we have sent as part of the request there is a you know basically these are soap messages so we have a soap envelope there and within soap envelope we've got a soap header and then a soap body and within the soap body we have got the employee ID that we have sent okay which is number one and then the next message here is the response so if you look at the response again we have got a soap envelope which contains a soap header basically an empty soap header and then within the soap body itself we got the response so we have ID name of the employee gender basically all the details of that employee okay so using this technique we can actually view the messages that are exchanged between the client and the WCF service in a similar fashion you can enable tracing on the WCF service as well the steps are exactly identical okay now so with this message logging option we are able to inspect these messages that are sent back and forth between the client and the WCF service itself so being able to inspect these messages uh, you know will help us better to understand message contracts which is our next topic so in our next video we'll discuss message contracts that's it for today thank you for listening have a great day